Hey, it's Melly. I'm down in the lab again. Sound lab. Noise lab. Making a little bit of noise. What we're doing today is um, a demo slash review of the Meeblip anode and maybe sort of a little bit of a shootout with the triode um, because they are very similar in certain ways, very different in others. Um, <clears throat> the anode was made in greater numbers um, than the triode. The triodes are numbered on the back and this one is 298 out of a thousand so there's only a thousand of these guys out there um, there's more anodes you see anodes crop up on um, especially reverb um, but you do see them on ebay sometimes price wise um, you can probably get an anode somewhere in the neighborhood of uh 80 maybe even 75 to 100 110 dollars um triodes on the other hand are all over the map i saw one on ebay recently from canada it's like 76 bucks american um but i've also seen them much closer to their initial asking price of about 150 dollars <clears throat> um if it were me i'd probably ask a little closer to the um the sale price of 150 bucks or the original sale price of 150 bucks um just because it's a it's a rarer synth um but we'll get into a little bit more about that there's several different um there's several different editions of the anode i've seen like limited edition white ones i've seen ones with uh metal boxes i don't know if those are older or newer um and there's some this one has the um the brushed aluminum switches of the triode not all of them have that some of them have the cheaper um plastic switches so um, if you want something that's a slightly bit nicer on the anode, um, try and find one that has the brushed aluminum switches. Um, it's just a, a touch better. Um, so what I have here is I have them on um, two different MIDI channels. I've got the anode on MIDI 1, and I have the triode on MIDI 2. Oh yeah, it sounds angry. Um, and they have very similar control layouts, although they do do different things. Um, they also have um, the exact same setups on the back where they have MIDI, power switch, power input, um, a MIDI channel select button, and a, uh, a 9 volt. It is, uh, it's the opposite of pedals, um, so you do need one of the little uh, power inverters if you're using a power bank, um, like I am. So, um, about the anode, uh, it's, you got cut off in resonance for your filter, your envelope, you have attack decay, sustain is a switch, um, you have pulse width, you can turn the pulse width sweep on or off, uh, you have a detune, which allows you to play chords, well, kind of, two chords, um, there's two oscillators in the anode, and you can tune the one, one oscillator either up, which is uh in tune with the other like the same note or you can uh, set it to an octave down and that gives you a really kind of um, a deeper fuller grungier sort of sound um the filter is a dual t i believe it is um and supposedly they found it out of like a 1970s electronic magazine it was either like a distortion tone control or wah pedal or something um but it's really, it's a bit unique, um, the filter. Filter's the same on both. Um, and we also have LFO, rate, and repeat. Uh, this, the controls are very similar. Oh, you also ha can assign the uh, oscillator to the frequency or the filter. Oops, got to get on the right one here. And um, just to go over the quick differences and similarities, filter's the same, it's the same dual T filter. Um, LFO's pretty much the same. Um, the range of the filter I, I feel is higher, um, as is the depth of the LFO, I think. Um, the triode, like its name Tri, has three oscillators. Um, you can detune one um, and 
The third one is a sub oscillator that you can turn on or off. So this one, the whole idea behind the triode was to give you a grittier, grungier, dirtier, um, you know, more aggressive anode. Um, what's really different is you don't have the same de uh, attack decay and sustain as you do on the Meeblip. You have an amp, an amplitude decay, and you have um, a filter decay. I don't think the filter decay does a whole lot. It does, I mean, I can hear a little bit of a difference, but it's not crazy for me. Um, and they also both have a secret wavetable mode, which uh, we can show you later. Um, the anode um, only has two banks of eight, so it's got 16. The triode has three banks of eight, uh, giving it 24 different wavetables. So without further ado, um, let's listen to the anode a little bit and see how that sounds. And that's with the two in tune with each other. If we if we uh, put one an octave down, they're both monophonic. They're not paraphonic. There's no two notes at the same time. Um, they also seem to have a limited last note memory, the Neutron that I have. Um, you can seemingly do a whole bunch, but you only get two. Um, so that, that's one limiting thing of both of them. Um, the filter does sound pretty cool on this one. So let's see if I can do something real quick here with push the hold button, that's why.
No, um, let me reset it. So uh, it's a little sane and kind of close to where we have a triode set up to. Because the triode goes a little crazier. It's, like I said, it was designed with that intent that it's going to be it's going to be more aggressive so in that same vein it's also kind of harder to tame um, they definitely um, give you enough tools to get out of where you might want to be or where things sound kind of good because sometimes you get kind of artifacts i had a hard time when i first got it with a lot of chirping um and a lot of uh like uh pops especially at the uh, attack of a note um, I did get a ROM upgrade, um, for the triode. Um, oh, I also forgot the triode does not have pulse width on it. It's got glide. Um, the, the, uh, upgrade helped a lot with that, but there is still some of that there. Um, also, if you have an old anode that doesn't have the wavetable mode, which we'll still get to, wavetable mode is coming. Um, if you have an older one, um, they do have instructions for getting a device that can write to the chip that's in it, and you basically have to take the chip out, put it in a device, and uh, reprogram it. Where with the triode, I think it's like 20 bucks, and they send you a new chip, and you pop the old one out, you pop the new one in. I've got a video on that, um, so I can post that in the comments, or in the description, I mean. Uh, so this is what the triode sounds like with very similar settings. Um, we don't have attack, so we're just gonna leave it at noon and see how that sounds here. We'll flip back and forth. You can see which one's active by which light's blinking there. start getting to that zone pretty early we're here it starts getting a little chirpy when it's all the way pegged the popping I'm talking about. Got to turn the depth down a little bit. Let's see if I can get that on, on the anode. Nope. Can't get the popping on the anode. Which may be a good thing, maybe a bad thing. I mean, you could probably tame it with a, a fast compressor um, a little bit, but it's still going to be there. So that's something you have to be a little careful with. Um, both of them have the detune, so
So you can probably hear this one is definitely just more of everything. <laughs> they just put more in that box. So if you want the more, it's definitely this one. But it's, it's like I said, it's a lot easier to go out of bounds on that and get maybe something you don't want. Um, but this is a lot easier to use. Um, I think you're less likely to maybe get frustrated with this one. Um, but if you just want to go go bonkers, definitely the triode. Um, if you want to have a ton of fun, get both. Um, like I said, they're not, they're not crazy expensive. Um, they're right They're maybe in that Volca or even a little bit less range, maybe even a pocket operator kind of range, um, which is a great deal uh, for that. If you want to see what they are size wise, um, this is a Volca. So they're shorter than a Volca and two of them is just a little bit wider than a Volca. Um, to compare it to a pedal, here's an, an older Ibanez. The Ibanez is a little bit taller, um, but it's about one and a half pedals wide. <clears throat> Old pedals. I mean, if you want like a mini pedal, uh, there's a mini. Um, wavetable mode. So, secret wavetable mode on uh, anodes with newer firmware. You, all you have to do is turn it off. When you turn it on, you, you hold the MIDI channel button down just until the light starts blinking fast. And then you let it go. And you are now in wavetable mode. What that means is you've lost pulse width. Um, that's no longer pulse width anymore. And this controls which bank you're in. So as you turn pulse width, you can select one of eight sounds per bank. So you can, oh, helps if I'm in the right one. How to edit that out. So those are the, the um, wavetable sounds. There's definitely some really good usable ones in there. I feel like, um, especially in, s s in the detune mode, I feel like the triode holds together the bottom end a little bit better than the anode. Um, and that might even be with the sub oscillator off. Yeah, the anode gets a little sputtery as it gets lower. The triode, triode holds together. Um, and that's, that's probably my, my review of both of them. Um, I've, I've done, I, I've did a more full review of the, uh, the triode. Um, another thing that's kind of weird with the triode and the anode is selecting MIDI channels. Um, you do that by turning it off and holding the MIDI select button, turning it on, and wait for it to stop blinking, until, and then it slow blinks. And you have MIDI channels one, two, three, and four. So if we want it on one, it blinks quickly to let you know it's done. Um, the triode, you can select MIDI channels one through eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I don't know why. That's how they made it. Uh, so hopefully you found uh, this interesting and useful two um, really tiny uh, monophonic synths that are you know definitely budget friendly um, that uh, 
they both have their pluses and minuses. Um, I mean, if I had to like only have one, I'd probably go with the triode. Um, but the anode, uh, if you just want to play and kind of have a brain vacation and not get hung up on um, on it being too much in certain settings, um, you definitely want to go with the anode. Uh, but uh, if you want the if you want the the total bottom end on the base, uh, definitely the triode. can be kind of neat so if you have any questions um if you have any thoughts anything you want to add anything um you you wish i would have shown that i didn't um definitely drop it in the comments love to hear from you guys um you know definitely like if you want to see more synthy stuff more pedal stuff um subscribe hit the bell all that magic definitely appreciate it when that happens and um i'll catch you next time thanks for sticking around with me